So now listen, Louise, you have to hear the story of Oprah. Why don't you go out there you have and talk to these people and send that to them? Because that's a personal thing. They may not want to be on the camera. Say if they're coming you know, to us. Say, them, say, okay, I might do that. I might. Now it's going. Okay, so anyway, here's the story of the Marie Grand's Oprah. Okay. This is the leftovers of Marie Grand's Oatmeal Cake. Can you get that, Nancy? Zooming. Oh, it Zooming looks in. awful oh, on look camera. We may have to eat that. Ooh, but it's absolutely... Oh, yeah, there's oatmeal in it. Oh, there's oatmeal in it. Okay, so listen. We had a restaurant while I was going out. No. And whenever the Marie Graham made her oatmeal cake here every Tuesday, and she made us a little cake, you know, like a little 8 by 11, 8 half by 11 pan. But on Tuesdays, when she made her oatmeal cake, she didn't do anything else but make the oatmeal cake. Because she had to uh, put hot water in the quick oats and let it sit for a while with the lid on. And then she had to clean the butter, uh, brown sugar and the, uh, and the butter and blah, 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 blah. Anyway, there's like four steps in this oatmeal cake. But it took three grand hours to make this oatmeal cake. Meanwhile, Billy and I, or Daddy and I, or Billy and Daddy, or some combination are running around doing onion rings, making hamburgers, I don't know, making sausage patties, washing dishes, uh, peeling potatoes, making french fries, and doing short order work while Marie Graham made her oatmeal cake. Because it was very, very important for Marie to only concentrate on one thing. And what used to fry me is the Marie Graham's oatmeal cake is really, really, really good. So all the customers loved it. And I was jealous when kids took their own morning to make this blank to blank oatmeal cake. It always sold out right away. You have no idea. But she, all she had to do that day was is. make her blankety blank oatmeal cake, and Billy and I had to work ourselves to death. And that's the story. So I made it today for the soup kitchen. I made, I quadrupled the recipe twice. So I have a whole bunch of Marie Graham's oatmeal cake. And now Marie Graham's oatmeal cake is here in downtown Waynesville. And, and, story. and when are we getting recipe for? I brought it with me if you want it. Oh, and fine. actually, I am so nice. Actually, turn around. That'll be an advertisement for the open door. The open door. And as you see, posted on Judy's back. Down, down, down. Good no. Now, now we're going to pan over to Louise. It's a tough job. Someone has to do it. That's that. right. What She's she doing up now? to her elbows in dumpling batter. Actually, she's going to do it with yellow dumplings. Yeah. Oh, nice. I don't make quite Oh, yellow. Nice. Look at that. That's just how my grandma did it. Some things aren't lost, even in this young you lady. Me did you hear me say young lady? <laughs> you uh, cook the old way. Okay. I cook the old way. And I was afraid that we weren't going to have enough of the open cake, so then I made uh, apple crisp. And I put little sprinkles on top, Halloween sprinkles, but Nancy just broke a tooth. I almost broke a tooth. She broke a tooth. On. Oh, she almost <laughs> broke a tooth on the bats. So, uh, but my teeth are gone. Now, that's the rain is going to come off? No, those are bats. Bats? That's, well, they're Halloween decorations. Oh, bats. Yes, okay. they can't be bats. Yeah. See, Louise can't understand us either. Bats. With our, nor with our northern accent. Uh, uh, uh. So anyway, that's all for now. Okay, signing out from the open door. All right. Well, it kept going. Oh, okay. now it's still going, Judy. Okay, so Alice, what were you saying about the, the chicken and dumplings? Chicken and dumplings, oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, but what about your dad? Didn't you say you had them? Coming around the mountain, chicken and dumplings. Uh, no, I'm going to say, ha ha ha. Then Marcia's just taking a picture of you. Well, I know it. We she love it that. when Alice sings. She's been yes. doing that. We're doing that. <laughs> <laughs> So what are you going to sing today, right now? <laughs> what a friend we have in Jesus.
after a snap, and we say so sweetly there, blessed Jesus, holding my hand. That's beautiful. Holding my hand, holding my hand, blessed Jesus, hold my hand. Lead me on and guide me through heavenly home we understand. Blessed Jesus, hold my hand and say, Thank you. Alice, how long have you been working here at the Open Door? Seven years and eight weeks. How are you Still feeling old. today? And every time I think I'm going to quit, God speaks to me and says, Move back and open the door. And I have got seven letters wanting me to come to jobs. Oh, really? Turn them down. I was so glad to see you today. You know what Connie White said to me? She said, Alice, and I walked up and said, Connie White, I need a job. Uh -huh. She said, you got one, and I got one. That's here? And every time I think I'm going to quit, the Lord <laughs> said, come back. Because I love him. Uh -huh. I love to be a people. Yeah. I love to sing. Uh -huh. I know. Well, I'm interested oh, in you. I love to sing. <laughs> okay, Jake. Okay, we're turned off now. Thank you, Alice. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much.